I'm on top of the world! The things we do for a fair lap. Getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning for sunrise. Mesa Arch is located in the Island of the Sky portion of Canyonlands and probably one of my favorite sunrises I've ever seen. It's only a half of a mile hike so I highly recommend it if you are looking for a fantastic sunrise moment. It's a very short distance and although we went in the middle of winter, we didn't need poles or spikes on our shoes even though it was icy. thousand elevation we're at the point where the Green River and the Colorado River meet it's a very short walk to a wonderful outlook and the trail is completely paved so anybody can make it from the parking lot we're only doing a half of a day at Island of the Sky, but there are also the maze and the needles, which are great for summertime activities. We are here in the wintertime, so Island of the Sky was best for us, and we had some more hiking at Arches that we wanted to get done first. You could do half of a day at Canyonlands and then go straight to Dead Horse State Park, which is a lot closer than turning around and going back to Arches. This crow is very interested in all the cars. He keeps squawking at us. Oh, now you're silent. When you come out here, I highly recommend taking at least one full day at Arches and one full day at Canyonlands. At Canyonlands, Mesa is perfect for sunrise. And then Schaefer Point, which is this trail right here, goes out to this rock. You can take really cool pictures here. And then at Green River viewpoint. That was the one that we were at just before this. We're uh, headed back to Arches to get some more hiking in there, but I just wanted to share the three really cool things here at Canyonlands before I leave. Beautiful view of the LaSalle Mountains. I got my sticker at the visitor center and my obligatory picture of the sign and we are off to Landscape Arch. I used to be scared to hike and it makes me emotional to even put a video like this together. Going on trips like this has given me so much courage in life. I started hiking after losing the first 40 pounds and I suffered heat exhaustion on my first day out. It was only a two and a half mile hike. My friends would say they didn't know, but <laughs> I was immediately very terrified of not finishing that hike. Why am I sharing this? Well, maybe because I hope that it resonates with somebody. Not all hikers are skinny or healthy. Some of us love to travel and we're just over 300 pounds, struggling to do three miles when we first start out. We want to see these amazing things that this earth has to offer and experience everything that life has to offer as we work at bettering ourselves. Because life can't stop just because the scale says something different than what we want it to. Stepping outside your comfort zone is tough, but I've learned that life begins outside that circle we call the comfort zone. 
it makes me uncomfortable as hell sharing these things on the internet but i think somebody has to maybe you just enjoy the view and want to see more of canyon lands and arches or maybe you're trying to better yourself and become healthier and this resonates with you and if it does just know i know that struggle and if i can do this you can too it just takes daily motivation commitment and discipline every freaking day so glad we came back out here this is the garden of eden and as you can see it snowed last night because there's snow hanging out this was not here yesterday so that's pretty cool okay probably the coolest thing I, i'll see all day people out there on chairs just hanging out they're like backpacked out there i think that's so crazy what are they doing just hanging out taking pictures i don't know that's so cool so we're just doing the landscape arch hike which is 1.9 miles there are seven different arches that you could hike to here and it's approximately seven miles worth of hiking we're here on a sunday and the parking lot was quite full today my only complaint right now is i didn't bring my real jacket i just brought like my little jacket it's a little cold so i'm taking a break in the sun to warm up. So Dead Horse is right next to Canyonlands and would be a perfect place to go to for sunset. It's a state park, so it's not covered by the National Park Pass, but it's only $20 to get in and it's definitely worth it. There's trails for everybody from 200 feet from the parking lot all the way up to three miles. Definitely recommend checking out all trails. As you can see, it's an amazing spot for photos. So if you love taking photos like we do, then you'll love this place. We liked watching sunset on both sides of the parking lot. We started here and then we got in the car and we went over to the other side and just finished watching the sunset before going down to Mohab for dinner. And I'll link the Mexican restaurant that we found in Mohab that was absolutely delicious that we definitely recommend you try out. Thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!